but with the native mode turned on for Nano Control Studio, we can now control each of the faders inside Core Gadget, including panning and muting and soloing, and still control everything else with different controllers. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Joko Bak. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. So right here we have Korg Gadget and here we have Korg Nano Key Studio and the Korg Nano Control. And on the side here we have the Novation Launch Key. I've been asked many times if you can use other MIDI controllers together with Nano Control. Why? Well, simply because this is the only thing that will allow you to control the mixer fader together with the mute, solo and panning controls inside the mixer mixer in Korg Gadget. So if you're a Korg Gadget user, then it makes sense to get a Korg Nano Control. Apart from the mixer control, you also get the transport controls. So you can play, stop, rewind, and also arm your Korg Gadget sessions for recording. And so when you have this, you might want to be using another controller for playing. And not everyone wants to get the Korg Nano Key Studio. And you don't have to. I will, however, add that the Korg Nano Key Studio actually adds a lot of cool stuff for you to use with Core Gadget, like being able to set the arpeggio, the chord, and also the scale. But let's say you have another control, like I do here, the Core Innovation Launch Key, which is an awesome controller. Then the way to set it up is by accessing the advanced MIDI controls inside Core Gadget. But here's a little thing. You see, there is something called native mode that you can switch on or off for both Nano Key and Nano Control. And in this case, we want the native mode inside Core Gadget to be switched on for the Korg Nano Control. However, when you have the Nano Key Studio connected to your iPad and to Gadget, either through Bluetooth or cable and lightning connector, and you turn the native mode on, what happens is Core Gadget goes into auto mapping mode. It looks like this and you can no longer access the advanced MIDI mode settings. So with everything set up like that, you can no longer assign specific MIDI controllers to specific tracks with specific MIDI channels. Gadget will automatically map every incoming MIDI signal, MIDI CC and note data to that track that is lit up like this. That's why you need to turn off the native mode for the Nano Key Studio if you want to use other MIDI controllers and gadget. Now I want to make this clear when you've got a Korg Nano Key Studio native mode off if you want to use other controllers and be able to access the advanced MIDI mode. And in this mode we can now open up the MIDI settings and assign a specific MIDI controller to a specific track and also a specific MIDI channel. Channel. And I'll show you where to find that. So we open up the settings menu by going to the cogwheel. And then you can see here that you have the MIDI input setting. And right now it says advanced. That's the way you want it. Go down here and we can find other settings. So we open that up and we get to this page. And if we scroll down, to here, then we can see the settings for the native modes. And when you do something in here, you have to restart gadget in between. I also want to add that I haven't really figured out what this will mean for the Nano Key Studio, ha having the native mode turned off, that is. I'm not sure what you'll be sacrificing because so far I've tested the chord mode, the scale mode, and the op mode, and it all seems to work nicely. You can still map controllers and play all the keys. So at this point, Point, I'm not sure what you're losing out on when turning off the native mode, but I'm sure I'll have that figured out for my epic Nano Key Studio review and guide that I'll be making. So stay tuned for that. I hope this clears it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel helped by this video in any way and you want to see more videos like this, then why not join up on Patreon? If you don't like Patreon, then I've also got a PayPal me link, so you could do a one-off donation if you'd rather do that. If you don't want to do any of that, then you can always share my videos, press the thumbs up, because that really helps with the ratings around here. And if you subscribe, don't forget to press in the little bell thing, because that way you get notified every time I make a new video. And no, not make, but every time I upload a new video. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff like this, yeah and have a lot of fun doing it.